Greetings to the world from the Borough Strip Small Holding Homestead, Cornwall, UK. Hello, I'm Jason. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on our website, Patreon, social media. Keep watching Chocolate and Meringue. Well, I've been uh, potting around in the pony dome. No, I haven't made it any tidier. But I have found the comb and brush for the ponies and thinking providing it doesn't rain and actually it's gone a bit darker than what it was literally a second ago which isn't making me feel all that great because I've been a bit brave go away flies I've been a bit brave because I've gone and left the caravan doors open and I left the pony dome door open and I'm standing here in uh, my hoodie so um, I thought I might get some uh, pony grooming and it even a bit wet I'm trying to do a little bit I'm more concerned about Meringue's mane actually this might be really difficult to do one handed but I'm going to see what I can do and also more to the point to see what he'll let me do but I realise I should have the camera actually uh, here so I wish I had a tripod right now but um, it's this bits that um, get really curled out if they get too badly um, in too bad of a state so I'm right too bad of a state obviously um, yes I know this is going down in front of your eyes I know the other day I did actually kind of move things out the way your eyes didn't I this might need to be um, cut but um, Hello Chocolate, how are you? You okay? Right. You came down very quietly, just as if the dog had come down. I thought Ice had come down here, I thought, well, she isn't able to, because she's behind the gate the other side, but that's kind of like how slowly and sneakily she would um, kind of turn up. So I'm going to try and do this as much as I can. It's like with, it's like when you've got a, um, Someone with the hair not in the hair and start at the bottom and work a little bit. Obviously, if this suddenly hurts him, he's going to turn and bite me. But um, hopefully, uh, we'll all survive. But uh, this has kind of gone a bit away, hasn't it? I'm wondering if I'll be better being over the other side a minute just to start. It does like other bit of attention. This has got a really knotty because we've had a lot of rain. And actually this might take more than just that might need to actually be cut. Okay so what I'm going to do is see how much I can get done. Well, obviously without going that far. And all the mud and rock and you know what amongst it because ponies love to uh, roll around. Yeah, it's got really big. the rain and all the wind and everything and everything else. You've got something up, actual mud. Got mud behind the ears, boy. Mud behind the ears. Not wet behind the ears, mud behind the ears. What are we doing, boy? And, um, come on from there. Good boy, Murray. I know it's not the most pleasant thing at the moment, so you're very good for putting up with Dad. I just really need my other hand to hold it steady while I'm doing this really. This isn't the ideal sort of thing to do. We've only got one hand and you might say, oh, you know, you only need a brush or one hand. It's better to hold the hair there so you can keep him amused for a second. She's probably wondering why he's getting the attention if she's not. Is that what you're thinking? All right, might do is work on the rest of it, that's your body for the moment. I'm not to be kicked as I step behind him. Always um, not the greatest idea to stand behind a horse for any late for time, like a horse or pony for any late for time. I'm going to get the other brush for a minute, see what I can do. There. Thinking you probably haven't seen me brush the ponies for ages, and not that I have really brushed my daughter. Usually there's most of the 
brushing. To be honest with you, what do I do? That's the iris brushing. It was uh, whole systems go to try and get rid of your winter coats, but now of course we're wanting your winter coats to come back as it has quite nicely. And uh, never happy are we? Get rid of your winter coats, and then we want you to have your winter coat. And then as soon as that's done, we want you to, as soon as the good weather turns out, we want you to get rid of your winter coat again. Never happy. Right. What are we going to do? We're going to do you, chocolate, are we? Right, we're going to get very far. We all think it's really knotted up. Yeah, I don't need that comb much of the new even. Chocolate. Right, that's that. That's that. Try and do this. It's the easiest thing to do one handed. Oh, giving it a go. Obviously, if I pay her attention. He'll kind of go, oh, how can you not pay me attention? So I do your main, your main might be a bit easier to get through one ended. Maybe. It's alright, it's alright. Yes, I hear it as well, I don't know what it is, but I hear something. It might be a tractor. I'm not sure if it's coming this way though. Sounds like it's going away from us. You've got mud behind the ears as well, what have you been doing? Rolling in the mud. You're rolling in the mud. Right, I'm trying not to hurt you. You just got to be a bit careful to try and do it at the ends, and then work up from that. Oh, good go. Right, okay. A little bit of a nitty knot at the end of there. Go go down. Oh, there we go. There you go. I don't want it to seem as if I'm being too firm but fair. That's what I'm trying to be. But um, because obviously I've got to do something rather than nothing. Obviously because you've absolutely been totally soaked, haven't you? For all the weather. I would try and uh, you up just a little bit. Yeah. Right, obviously, this is her winter coat coming through. Because obviously, she's a grey, and when she's got, hasn't got a winter coat, you can see that she's grey. But obviously, um, when she's got a winter coat, she's she has a chocolate colour, so um, she's called chocolate. And uh, I initially came up with her name because we came up, the guys came up with the name Meringue. And I thought, what would go with that? And chocolate. And they just, just for us to convince my youngest uh, son or youngest child, happens to be a boy, um, same difference. Um, whether he would uh, go with the idea and he says, oh yeah, chocolate meringue sort of thing that's sometimes what I try when I call their names and actually say meringue and chocolate because when you say chocolate meringue it kind of um, sounds like a dessert it can sound like a dessert the other way as I keep saying if you look at past videos you will of course see that and, um, and here I realise I'm really bad trying to cooperate what I'm actually doing and actually filming it at the exact same time. Just going through a coat is this. Also it gives her a bit of attention as well. And that's why a lot of um, bonding is done, particularly if you have bigger horses and bigger trained horses. A lot of the bonding is done through grooming. And uh, I'm just hoping that isn't the rain because if it is the rain, guys, I am going to have to run, literally. And um, the rain is coming, and uh, I have literally got to, to run. I've got all the doors open. Right, so I'm going up here. 
difficult. It's the stuff I'm abandoning the ponies. I can't really do this in the lake. Oh, well, I could if I had 12 coats on, but see you in a bit, guys. So I've got this, so I'm not sure what it is going to do. Otherwise, this is the pony dome. So, in case you've never seen in here, this is just a storage area for things. Pony food is what's in here. Different things like that. I'm going to shut this up. It is slightly rainy around the edges. He's got a, something that rocks more than we gate. Right, you know what? I'm going to finish that. And it's going to. Oh, seriously, it's going to stop raining now, isn't it? After all that. I'm going to put you on the gate post. Like that. Yeah, typical. Rain he is gone. I kind of panicked a bit because I don't have any coats and sometimes when the showers come, they come quite abruptly. Sorry, my hand will be somewhere in front of the lens because until I actually pick it up, I can't see where anything is. Right, so, walking up. Not quite sure what the raspberries are doing. I've still got this. Tomatoes. I think there's little tomatoes. Unfortunately, bless them. I think they're just going to rot. But um, away it goes. So, sweet peas, as in the flowers, have uh, more or less died off. There's some. There's a seed pod there. So I guess that will reseed itself. All right, I'm going up here. I bet when I get to the caravans, yeah, I already look. The caravan looks like it's got sunshine on it. Okay, what I might do is go up and uh, just get my black coat to put around my waist and then go down maybe again. I do the ponies. Been down here a while now with the ponies. Um, you saw me, uh, I think, rushing to the caravans. So uh, I got my black coat, which I tied around my waist, and I did close the caravan doors, just to clarify to somebody who's only seen this new, and I may have seen the dog thinking, well, look, so-and-so has gone and shut the dog out of the caravan. We have got a dog run with dog kennels um, that the dog could go to by her own choice. Sometimes she goes underneath the actual caravan, which she's done lately. I did with when it's really, really raining, really, really, really badly, and I had to come down here. Um, did get her to stay in one of the kennels for part of the time, but she's not overly keen. Um, as I said in past videos, when we've got all the dogs, she's the one that knows. Oh, if you go in there, that'll shut the gate, and that'd be that. Right, so basically been uh, brushing the ponies, particularly Morang, he had about three really knotted areas on his mane. And, um, well, grooming him, and actually three parts I thought I was going to have to actually um, have uh, cut. Well, I've persevered with them. And this is like really long, this could do, which is shortening at some point, even mud underneath there even. Yeah, one close to his ear and one about here that was really really stubborn blessing I mean, if you've ever had long hair and had somebody get rid of a knot in your hair it brings tears to your eyes so well done um he was ever so good ever so brave i think because he could have looked up and said dad what are you doing i could have turned and kicked me or or tried to bite me and said that's enough so um i worked with him and then when i went back to try and do Chocolate, he wanted more attention. Poor chocolate. Doesn't look that much different, bless her, but I have kind of 
going through with hers. So what this is is the this is the mud <coughs> that's dried out of coat. I've gone through her mane. Hers of course quite easy to do. She wants the grass. I always want I always think grass is greener on the other side. Always wants the bit that's not where they actually are. And um, I'm kind of wondering at some point uh, when the winter well and truly uh, comes in. Last winter it wasn't the snow that was the problem, it was the frost. And it was minus four here and everything was frozen. All the, even all the water, that was full of water, the water system was. But it was frozen. Uh, and that was a challenge in itself. Um, I mean obviously this is the Borough Strip small holding homestead. It, in its name, covers that it's a strip of land, it's a small holding, it's a homestead. What isn't covered in the name is the off-grid part of it. It is totally off-grid. There is no mains electricity, there is no water supply to here whatsoever. So, uh, and here's about to pee it down the rain on me again. Uh, it must be, well, I, it's obviously okay until I want to talk to you guys, um, sort of thing. A little bit tufts there of what has actually come out off Morang's uh, coat, actually his mane, mainly, and got, kind of got this done. So this is in much better looking condition, at least I think it does. And I think he was very good to let me do that. Um, those that will know that meringue, oh, you've probably seen the chocolate meringue fall out amongst themselves. Right, I'm just going to disappear in the corner a second just to put my coat on. Right, so believe it or not, what I actually did is actually went in the pony dome, a uh, little pony shelter, it's not, not the pony dome, the pony house, little pony shelter, just to get my coat on me before I got too wet beforehand. Um, so it is really really raining again I'm not sure if you can actually pick it up on camera but there is uh, kind of a mist how soft a, there's a mist up on the horizon it is raining so I've kind of got that kind of done just in time before that gets too wet and I won't be able to um, do that at all Right, so hop, skip and a jump, hopefully without twisting my leg inside out. And it's raining even harder. <coughs> Good boy, Mariah. Good girl, Chocolate. Right, so that's them. Brush, more importantly, Mariah's main uh, being brushed through. Like I said, he had three areas that I was concerned about. It was so knotted that they might have needed to have them uh, cut. He did have uh, one cut area cut out by the North Farm when he had his tail trimmed. So I say, it's all happens. You see it like with uh, ponies on the moors. They all get knocked up anything to do. You guys have got your very own pond in the corner there, haven't you? It wasn't planned. You could literally swim in that. Not much rain. Right. It isn't actually time for me to feed you, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, what are you barking about, early ice? Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's me out of breath. Don't say much. But... Uh, Try and get this open without breaking my hands or anything else. Right, so that's that. That's that. So yeah, uh, the pony's got coats. That's hers. That's his. They've got head collars. They've got leads. Um, there is the argument um, with head collars. Do you leave head collars on them all the time? They did originally have head collars. And um, what had happened, one of them broke, and I think it might have been hers that broke, and his was rubbing his face, if I remember correctly. 
a bit of history. Um, that's last year. And then, obviously, we had head collars. I don't know if you look at past uh, videos when they had the furrier come to do the hooves when the West Farm had helped us. Um, chocolate was put on a head collar that they had, or more or less a, a rope sort of idea. Sorry to get my um, And then uh, the next head collar that was actually collected was pink. Um, I think with a red lead, which technically was supposed to be um, chocolate, so technically it's uh, a bit too big. So we've got other head collars that should be suitable if need be for that. We've come to the conclusion that they... It's a question mark, do you have them with, with head collars on? I mean, you've seen us move the ponies to and fro, that's the most they move. From the very bottom of here, right to the very top where the caravans are, is where they move. I don't know why my... Sorry. I'm very guilty of having the camera too low for everything. I was looking at the ponies, but the camera lower than where I was looking at them. Sorry, sorry about that. 600. So, yeah, we're still... Well, we're above 600. So, um, you know, that's... Um, maybe with the rain now... I mean, obviously, there's got to be weight in the water. Because you know, it's going to go a brew away, you think about it, the pony dome is... Okay, the pipe goes round whirly-whirly. Um, so it goes round there and all the way up, all the way up through here, past all the poultry runs. And I appreciate a pea hen or pea fowl are not poultry, but you know what I mean. <coughs> They're gaming birds. But uh, the runs past all of this and then to go to there. So basically the other way around. The distance I've come up to what rain has got to go into here. The gut red. Go along into the bath. Go all the way down the pipe and all the way down that distance that I've come up to go down whirly whirly round the pipe into the tank so you need quite a bit of water to be able to fill all that I guess for that tank to even register it thank goodness we did go get it from that 400 stage <coughs> that it seemed to be stuck on it's in here. Why is it always 400? Why is it always 400? Don't get me wrong, it's better than being 200. But it kind of sort of was in stuck mode. Just uh, simply walking up. Right, so you see right down the very bottom. The very top is uh, where the caravans are. And I'm guilty of not having the camera up high enough to do anything. Right, what I'm going to do is go to here because what you're going to do is see this is what the world is looking like right now from us. Thank you to the Berry Ones for subscribing to our YouTube channel. This is the Berry Strip, Small Holding Homestead, Cornwall, UK. I'm Jason. Thank you for having me.